And talking about setbacks, Nepal's Prime Minister KP Sharma Oli has suffered one too, a big one rather. He has lost his job. Nepal's Supreme Court asked the country's president to appoint Sher Bahadur Deuba as the next Prime Minister. The decision finally ends the long-running political crisis of Nepal, one that was triggered by KP Sharma Oli himself. So what does this, this decision mean for him and for the political future of his country? Here's a report. In the last seven months, Nepal's Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has tried everything. Dissolving the parliament, cobbling up a majority, forcing a fresh election. But none of it worked. His desperation has resulted in this, the loss of power. The setback comes from Nepal's Supreme Court. It has ruled against K.P. Sharma Oli. The case began in the month of May, but the problem was older. Oli's party was split. His position as PM was untenable, so he wanted parliament to be dissolved. He tried it not once, but twice. In the month of May, his move was challenged in the Supreme Court. Now, the verdict has come. The parliament won't be dissolved. The court has reinstated it. The judges have effectively asked Oli to step down. They've said Sheikh Bahadur Doiba should be appointed as the prime minister. The president has time till Tuesday evening to announce the appointment. The decision was met with some protests in Kathmandu. Meanwhile, the task is cut out for Doiba. He's a long-term rival of Oli. He will now have to prove majority in parliament. Earlier, Deoba had claimed support from 149 lawmakers. A comfortable majority in the 275 member parliament. Deoba will be given 30 days to prove he has the numbers. If he wins the trust vote, it will end months of political uncertainty in Nepal. Something that had handicapped the country during the pandemic. In recent weeks, Nepal has battled a deadly Wuhan virus surge. At the peak of the second wave, the country was reporting a positivity rate of 47%. The high number of infections had forced Oli to appeal for international help. But it wasn't the pandemic that took Oli's job. KP Sharma Oli's third stint as Prime Minister was riddled with controversies. His downfall began last year, when Oli refused to honour a previous deal to share the Prime Ministership with Pushpa Kumar Dahal, the co-chairman of the Nepal Communist Party. This led to a split in the ruling party. Oli's clear leanings towards China only made the situation worse. As Prime Minister, he pushed for more Chinese investment in connectivity projects. When the Chinese encroached upon seven districts of Nepal, Oli dismissed the threat. Plus, he stoked one controversy after another with India, a key neighbour and ally of Nepal. It began with the release of a new political map when Nepal stake claim over three disputed territories, Lipulek, Kalapani and Limpia Dhura. Next, Oli blamed India for the pandemic and then claimed that Lord Ram was born in Nepal and not India. Last month, he even claimed ownership of yoga. These claims have not only angered Indians, but also the opposition leaders of Nepal. In recent weeks, Oli has only repeated his past mistakes, allowing the opposition to unite and ensure his ouster. The Supreme Court's order drove the final nail in the coffin. Oli's turbulent prime ministership is coming to an end. Your report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.